Hi, today we're going to make a favorite Canadian comfort food called poutine. There's three ingredients. There's potatoes, and we're going to use, these are Idaho russet potatoes, and uh, brown gravy, and cheese curd. So what I have here is, I, the, the potatoes I'm using are a little small, but you just figure out how many you want to cut, and they're about a quarter inch to three-eighths of an inch thick. So just slice the fries. Like so, this is going to be... Delicious. Let's get these ready. Like this. And you can adjust the recipe for however many servings you like. But then what we're going to do is we're going to put them in a bowl. And then we want to cover them with cold water and put them in the refrigerator and let them soak for two hours. And this will make them nice and crisp. So we'll do that. I got a little water here. We'll just cover these. Like this. Get them all in the water. And so there we are. So we'll get these in the fridge and we'll let them soak in there for a couple hours and we'll be back. So we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready. We got the potatoes out of the fridge. They've been in there actually about two hours and 40 minutes. So what I have, oop, I dropped one right mm -hmm. on the floor. Just pour them, put them on this towel here. And I want to get as much of the moisture off these as I can. So I'll just do that. And then I got another towel. We'll just go like this and kind of get some of that off. And then I'm just going to let them sit here. And I'm going to go outside because we're going to cook outside. We're going to get some briquettes going. We're going to build a little campfire to sit by and hang out while we're cooking this delicious uh, snack or treat or this comfort food we're making. But yeah, this will work good. So there they are. So they'll be just fine like this. I'll get out, go out and get the briquettes going. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're ready. The briquettes are ready. We've got us a nice fire there to hang out by. And so what I want to do is we need to get this oil going. So what I'm going to do is put about 20 to 25 briquettes here. Just kind of eyeball it like that. set the Dutch oven right on top of here. We want to get this canola oil up to like 350 degrees. Just set that Dutch oven on there like that. Got me a little thermometer right there so I can just check it. Once it hits 350 we'll start cooking the, the fries. So I think I'm going to go, I just want to go maybe half full or a little bit above half. We're just cooking. We don't need to drown them out. So let's just go. That looks pretty good right there. So we'll just kind of watch this. We'll hang out by the fire. Once that gets 350, we'll start cooking the fries. I got my skillet here. We're going to cook the gravy in the cast iron skillet. So it's going to be a fun day. So we'll see you okay, back. Okay, we're ready. The grease, I, what I did is see I set the Dutch oven lid just over the top to hold the heat in. It's probably been warming up for I'd say maybe 20 minutes or so, but it's at 350. So let's grab the lid lifter, set the lid off. And then I have this nice little thing. Let's put our potatoes in here. I'm just going to slowly drop it down into that oil. See, now the cold, now the cold's taking effect. See, now it's really going. But we only, we just want to cook these for like three minutes. And then we'll pull them out. But yeah, look at that. That is awesome. Just put them in there slow. I got some more uh, briquettes lit right there. We're, as soon as they're ready, we'll start the gravy. That's the second step. And then the third step will be the final fry for the fries. So look at that. So that's pretty good. So we'll, like I said, probably two more minutes on that, but we're in Lava Hot Springs, Idaho. We're having a good time. It's probably about 40 degrees. There's a skiff of snow on the north side. There's a north little skiff on the north side of our house. 
This is our part-time house. My wife Jenny and I, we live in Sandy, Utah full-time, but this is our like our weekend home. But it's beautiful. I mean, it's just a great little hot spring town. The population is like 407. Nice, quiet uh, country living. You can't get any better than that. But we'll just cook this. And then this poutine, this is a poutine challenge. Uh, actually, there's 12 of us doing this. There's Team USA, so there's six Team USA guys and six from Canada. And this is a, a Canada dish, so the Can Canadians probably have an upper hand on us, but I think us US, US cooks will do pretty good. So it's a collaboration. All the cooks in this competition will be down in the description. Let's kind of see how this is going. So what? We just kind of want to just cook these just a little bit, so maybe another minute and pull them out. And then we're going to get the, the oil hotter to about 375 for the second cook, which will brown the outside of that real good. So, let's kind of just stir this. Is. But yeah, we've just been hanging out by the fire. It's nice. It's been a little windy. The coals, actually, I probably had like 45 coals or so in the, in the charcoal chimney. But the wind, see, it, they burn quick. So after the 20 minutes see they're all just under there and they're just like little nugget size but it's it heated this oil up good let's look at this it dropped it down the cold fries did it's 250 but i mean they're frying that's fine they're doing good they're so maybe let me get the paper towel on this uh pan here It's a little windy, so we pull these out. Gotta be careful, but yeah, see, they crisp them up, but the, the outsides aren't cooked. This, this is exactly what we want. Yeah, this is fun doing this collaboration with all these these YouTube cooks. Uh, it's it's fun to meet people and cook and get different recipe ideas and kind of talk with the different YouTube cooks that do videos like we do. We love doing this, you know. It gets you in the outdoors. It gets uh, Jenny and I, we, we try and we eat all kinds of different good stuff and the stuff, you know, everything turns out good in the Dutch oven, so you gotta love that. But yeah, those fries are looking pretty good. So there we go. So I'm just gonna go set these in the house. Look, they're, they're a little bit crisp on the, that is, just what we want. So I'm gonna go set these in the house. I'll put the lid back on that, get a little bit more heat under there to up the temperature. I'll start preheating my skillet there for the gravy and we'll be back shortly to start. Okay, we're having a good time. It's time to make the gravy. So my new, this is the second batch of coals I started. So we have, I have the, the cast iron skillet on a trivet under the coals. I put the Dutch oven, the fry Dutch oven on new coals just because so there was so there was so much ash in there. So I just kind of swapped them out. But what we want to do is gravy. I like a little grease to start my gravy, and there's nothing better than bacon. So I have two strips of bacon here. Just all cubed up nice. We're just gonna sizzle this like that. And then we diced up some green onions here. We're going to put this in here. Get that going. Let that cook for a little bit. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to have this bacon to start it getting all greasy and stuff. And then uh, I guess we're going to put in the garlic right now too. So we'll put this in, get that going. But I transferred the, this is the French fry grease. And look, it's almost up to 351 and like 375 to do the final cook on that, uh, those fries. Yeah, that smells good. We took those fries in the house and then we came outside and sat by the fire for like 15 minutes. And then went back in we're like man this smells so good the french fry aroma was just throughout the whole house yeah this smells good delicious too this is all good look 
we started the fire. It's going great over there. We're having having fun. Just stir this up. But go like that. Looks like it's almost ready. So the grease is doing good. So when we do the second second fry on the french fries we'll do it for like eight or nine minutes we'll just kind of watch them and see when they get golden brown like that and see okay should we start the butter part jenny or should we let this bacon cook a little bit longer before we go to the next i think we let this cook a little bit longer so let's get a little more let me these these briquettes here are from the first batch we did see it it was windy earlier let me get some more heat under here and like I said I had like 45 in the chimney before when we done the fries I just kept poking them under there just to keep them up there because they were burning down so quick but you can just kind of judge the heat and the thermometer worked great so but yeah that should work out good set that there Stir that up a little bit. Yeah, I got in this, this poutine challenge. I, I'm in a, a Facebook group, YouTube Cooks, and the head honcho master, Chris Nickel, I seen his post. I need six, five brave Americans to do this poutine challenge with the Canadians. We're going to make their poutine uh, meal here and I'm like yeah I'm in Dutch oven style though and so here we are cast iron doing it in the cast iron yeah that's looking good so I think I'll let this bacon cook just a little bit longer so let's cut for just a second Till this is ready the grease start coming then we can start adding more ingredients and then get the gravy going good and bubbling then we'll go to the french fry cook so we'll see you okay back. we're ready this bacon and onion uh thing here is good so let's start making our roux so i got two tablespoons of butter here let's put this in here get that melting but the oil it's at about 370 right now. I said grease earlier. I don't know why. That's like a movie or something. But this is oil. Cooking oil. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> grease. <laughs> I used to sing one of those songs on karaoke. Not a good sight, but it's fun. So here we are. So look at this. Man, them colors are, look at those green. There's a little bacon, nothing better than bacon. Get that going in here. Just melt this up. And this is gonna be, we want this up to like 375, the cooking oil. It's gonna do the final bake on those fries. But yeah, we're in the outdoors. Nothing better than cooking in the outdoors. It's a little cold, but I'm actually warm. I'm, by all these warm coals and stuff. Got the fire there. So there's that. So let's grab the flour. So we got two tablespoons of flour. We'll put this in. <clears throat> Stir this up and get this going pretty good. Make this roux. The table's slanted a little bit to this back side, so I'm just gonna kind of keep keep it right here kind of go like that we stuffed all the coals we got them under the Dutch oven under there let's utilize some of this fire it's one good thing about having a fire when you're cooking outdoors and in the Dutch oven you can use coals out of the fire let's just poke a little of these but look how that's awesome look it kind of looks blue but it's gray 
kind of looks blue, but it's gray. <laughs> <laughs> it's really blue, actually. It, it is blue, huh? <laughs> this is, look at that roux. Man, that's working great. I just like using this fire stuff. <laughs> you can just bust right off that log. Just get all kinds of good heat. So, but I need to keep stirring this. So, what we want to do now is we're going to add some beef stock to this. So, you want to do about two cups. The can we bought is like an ounce and a half shy of two cups, but. I guess that just means we'll have a little bit thicker gravy, so. Let's pour this in here. Like that. I want to give it a little stir. Let's look at the cooking oil. Oh yeah, it's about halfway between 350 and 400, so. I think we're doing good. So there's that. Let's slant it back a little bit towards me, but that's fine. So here we have a garlic salt, onion salt, and a little coarse pepper we ground up. We're just going to put in here like that. We have a quarter teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and a quarter teaspoon, I can never say the word. Worcestershire it's or actually Worcestershire a half or, or a half a teaspoon. Okay. Worcestershire, 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 whatever. Worcestershire sauce. However you want to say that. Balsamic vinegar. That's good. And then we're just going to give it a little squirt of ketchup. Just like that. So let's stir this up. <laughs> I think I'll get some more coals from the fire. That cooking oil is doing good. So I'm gonna load, load a little bit more heat and once this starts bubbling up and looking like yummy gravy like we're gonna have here in a little bit, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Look, the gravy's doing pretty dang good. I put a little more coals from the fire under there, but we're just gonna let that bubble away. And the cooking oil, it's like right where we want it. So let me grab the lid lifter we'll get this over there and here's the fries just kind of want to set them down in the grease and we're going to cook these oil. for like or oil sorry i don't know why i keep calling them grease it's not grease it's like oil grease is like thick stuff oil is like liquid so here we go but look at that that's like the 4th of July. So let's be aware and we'll just kind of watch these, but I think it'll take seven to nine minutes or so to get them going good. And some paper towels. And we'll just be ready for that. Here's the gravy. So I'm just going to keep stirring this gravy we'll let those fries sizzle for uh, seven minutes or so and we should be ready to serve it up so we'll see you back okay we're ready the fries are doing awesome look at this they are cooking up so good I'm just gonna pull these out of here Yummy. Just set them on here. Nice and crisp. The gravy's doing good. We got some of that fire coals going under there. I think maybe that's the key of the whole cook. There's two fries. Let me get that that like that. So I'll just set these over here. Let's give this gravy a little, a little spin. Yeah, that looks pretty dang good. A little overcast. It's been a little overcast. At least the wind died. So we'll just let that go. I'm going to 
put my fork right here. I have some tongs. I see how do you use these? There you go. Push that in. Put a little few on a plate. Yeah, look at these fries. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh. We're in Idaho and we're these are Idaho russet potatoes. Nothing better than that. Go like that. Let me slide that right there. And now we have cheese curd. And the cheese curd is from Utah. Which is where our second, our, well, our main residence. So we'll just put these cheese curds on here. Yeah, this is squeaky. We tried some of this. You chew it up and you can just squeak. Look at that. Set that over there. And then here's the gravy. Look at that. Bacon. Oh, that delicious. Let's put this over the top. Get some of those good bacon chunks. Yummy. Get that going like that. Should be be enough, and then I want to. We have some green onions left, so I think I'm going to garnish this with some green onions. But look at that poutine! Awesome! This is a great challenge. I love doing this. I'm glad I got involved with this. I'm glad for everybody that's in this challenge, and we can, yeah, just collaborate together. Let's taste this. Mm. That is delicious. And it's fries, so fries are finger food. Who needs a fork? Oh man. That is so so good. I'm gonna grab that big hunk of cheese there. Mm, yummy. Mmm. Okay, Jenny. <laughs> this is so good. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This collaboration is good. This is a competition. Team USA, go Team USA. And against Team Canada. Here you go. Here is my version, Dutch oven style. Canadian comfort food, poutine. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Just stop. They're kicking the leaves like that pheasant was.